Hi Capricorn, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and this is your WTF reading for, um, I'm going to have to say from the second week maybe and into the third week of um, September, I'm kind of missed a few days because I was so busy at work and I was also sorting out your Law of Attraction readings as well. Just a little announcement to make, I've had it put to me and I have tried this once before um, and it wasn't very successful, but it did come back to me that some older people within the tribe would like me to do an older person's reading. Now, I'm not going to give age ranges. I really am not. If you feel like you're an older person that's got a lot of wisdom, check it out. It's going to be called the whatever um, for the golden oldies. Um, so if you feel like you're a golden oldie, by all means, watch. If you don't feel like you're a golden oldie, you're still welcome to watch it. Um, but it is going to be directed for those of us of a certain age um, who have got different needs to those of you who aren't of a certain age. And you will know what that certain age is when you get there. Because let me tell you, a lot of things go wrong. They really do. So let's get on with your reading. We're going to start with your energy card and ask... I have an energy card to start the WTF reading for Capricorn, please. Thank you. A bit tight this week, aren't I? A tidy house, clarity and organisation. Now, when I see this house, I know a lot of people go, oh, God, bloody tidy house. I've never got a tidy house. However, I have found the benefit of having a tidy house in my mind. Um, you know, making lists and making sure that my mind is not wandering away from the task at hand. Um, so, yeah, and that's what's happened to me last week about the reading. So, clarity and organisation doesn't necessarily mean that it's got to be your physical house. It can be your spiritual house. It can be your meditative house. It could be any kind of place that you have got that you need to keep tidy and organised. So it could be a workspace, it could be, you know, if you've been working from home over the last three years and you've suddenly gone back to work, has that desk in the corner now become a junk corner um, where you could actually clear it off and still keep that as a focus for other things? Uh, maybe turn it into a homework desk, maybe have it as... Um, a meeting place desk, even if you're not using it for work, you can utilise it for something else. And if you're finding that a certain lot of items are getting dumped there, how about taking the desk out and putting yourself some storage into that corner? Uh, yeah, so it's a number one. It's a new beginning for yourself. It's kind of getting yourself back into the throes of being organised, literally. Um, very earthy kind of card. Um yeah, and I just heard hickledy pickle day. Really, I just I don't know where some of this stuff comes from. I really don't. So let's get on with your what the fuck reading. And I'm still a little bit mindful um, about the swearing, the cussing in the first sixty seconds. I've kind of relaxed it a bit because it's made no damn difference whatsoever to um my algorithm nothing hasn't changed anything so i don't know why i was up my own ass about it i really don't so we've got what started you what the fuck and we've got facing your fears and taking your power back there's your manifestation capricorn we'll pull that over there a little bit Movement and journey, please, for Capricorn. Where the fuck do they need to be? A movement and journey card for Capricorn, please. I hate it when this happens. It's in there somewhere, thank you. So 
what you can do, oh wow, what you can do about the situation. Crikey, that came out quick. What's out of your hands? Reconnecting to your true self. Ooh. And your outcome. Ooh. Okay, so what started your what the fuck? A little bit of a story going on here by the looks of it. A little bit of an apprenticeship going on with the Page of Pentacles. Now, your abilities, your toolkit, whatever you want to call it, is absolutely brilliant. You've got it all in space, but this little page is coming along saying about an apprenticeship. Now, for some of you, it's going to be an apprenticeship that's coming to a close and that you are now building up to becoming the craftsman. But for some of you, you may have to go back a step in order to do a bit of an apprenticeship about something new that you need to add to your toolkit to bring things together. And spiritually speaking, um, part of that relearning, going back to basics, um, going back to an apprenticeship stage, is in comes the high priest who is highly magical, highly intuitive, but he's very traditional. And he beckons you into the stone circle for protection as he draws energy down from the sun. And he is saying to you, come on, it's okay. It's okay to understand tradition. It's okay to practice tradition. It's okay to look at other traditions if you are trying to find something unique for yourself you don't have to reinvent the wheel um just because you think you need to so with this you know if the way that you um connect with the spirit world is through prayer petition um chanting um whatever it is however you connect and it's okay not to connect as well that's good if you know you don't have to but if you go for a walk and you get lost in your thoughts, that is when you're connecting to the spirit world because you are not actually taking it in what's around you. You are literally going off somewhere else. And that's what happens when we do, do meditations as well. We take ourselves off to a different realm. And he's saying, come on, tradition is okay. Please don't boohoo it. Please don't um, pass it by because there just may be something there that will help you with this apprenticeship and push yourself on to becoming um, that craftsman, even the master craftsman. I've just heard that, even the master craftsman. Page of Pentacles, that is your earth card, my darling. So this is really relevant to you. This is no outside energy. This is calling you in to understand that it's okay for tradition to have its place in your life. Are you asking questions about that at the moment? So, facing your fears and taking your power back, you've been standing around a little while, haven't you? Been waiting on the dock for something to come in towards you. And all the while, the little page of Thames is coming in saying, come on, draw down energy from the universe and out your knowledge and your wisdom. Um, to help you make a decision about what the moon is illuminating for you. Is it illusion or is it fact? We don't know. Um, that will be up to you. But it's something that you've been waiting for that I'm kind of getting that maybe um, you need this strength. You need your knowledge and wisdom to make the decisions about what's being offered to you. Because I'm not getting any essence when I look at this card that you've got any idea any inkling of jumping on that boat and going and getting what it is that you think that um, you want or that you need. Um, but there is definitely something on its way into you. And you've been waiting patiently, patiently and forever for that to come in. And then in behind both of those two things, so this is facing your fears basically, is this hanging around and taking your power back, is drawing this energy down, using your knowledge and wisdom and allowing the moon 
to show you a way forward to illuminate for you what you need to know and right in behind all of that you've got the horned god he is the advocate for everything in nature he gives those a voice that haven't got a voice and he comes along in readings like this especially behind two cards like that to remind you to verbalize what it is that you want it's okay waiting around it's okay drawing down energy but you need to have the strength of character to actually say what it is that you want out of life and then start acting as if you've got it because that's what he does he may give them a voice but he already is part of the forest he acts as if they've already got a voice he acts as if they they matter that's what this is all about you do matter and that's what he's saying to you you do matter in this circumstance and you really have got to um, speak up for yourself in order for you to get what's coming in towards you so your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be that's not fucked at all darling you've got number 11 standing stone this is justice in other cards in this deck it deck it is natural justice you've got the sunshine that is beating down on that stone that stone is sturdy and steady you've got the scales that are in balance you've got the labyrinth that is clear you've got the harm none message and you've got the stone circle around you for protection now i often say about these little daisies they are robust little fellas we can lop their heads off as many times as we like but they will come back time and time again and i have to say that's the one thing i'm missing about my grass at the moment my grass is yellow and i know as soon as it starts to rain it will come back again but i do miss my daisies and my dandelions and my buttercups um so just know your manifestation you may be waiting for some natural justice to occur you may be asking for natural justice to take over act as if it's already happened act as if that natural justice that you are calling upon has already happened and that you are happy to move on to another situation to another idea because whatever this is for it is coming round it is going to be with you but you need to let go of the energy of why you called that in in the first place so your movement your journey i'm kind of getting that you've been juggling for a very long time not just with money but with work-life balance with home life balance um balancing between you and your family there's been a lot of juggling going on trying to get things sorted at long last the skies are parting the sun is about to peep through you're going to put your foot on the ground and bring yourself back into balance on your movement and journey this juggling is not going to continue um and the reason I say that is because you've got that apprenticeship card. And I think it's the waiting game for that to come to a conclusion so that you're able to bring everything back into alignment. So what can you do about this situation? Look what came out. Look what came out. I will show you the other card in a minute. The king and the queen of pentacles. The king and the queen. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, you could be a double um, earth sign. But the two coming out together, a power couple. She is Mother Earth. She is going to be the Divine Mother. She is going to be the person that looks after everybody. She's the one who's got that large pentacle and she looks over her kingdom with great pride, knowing that she's invested wisely in people and um, everything that's around them, teaching people that the tree of life, the roots run deep and we are all connected by that. She's also got this lovely big bowl of nuts, which is abundance. Um, that she brings forward with her and by the same token the king of pentacles is this fantastic guy usually a married man but definitely a businessman who makes wise investments and who's made his money who is now willing to make those investments in other people um, and he's quite happy about that he's quite happy to dish out the dosh if people need to he's quite happy to 
offer his knowledge and his wisdom to those of you that are coming up i'm kind of getting that this may be a business venture and uh, this may be a business venture that's been a long time in the making and i'm getting that you're exhausted from waiting nine of a theme is the waiting game's nearly over the moon again it's illuminating for you a way forward and it's almost like you're ignoring the signs that now is the time it's a good time the investments are going to be made and it's going to be made wisely now if you don't connect with these if this isn't and it doesn't have to be an earth sign for it to be somebody who is a ceo a director a businessman somebody who's got their own company somebody who's made really wise investments and has sorted things out um, and her, like the male or female, we're dealing with energies here. We're not dealing with sexes. They are energies. So if you've been nurturing something for some time, you could be stepping into the king energy, becoming that CEO, becoming somebody who has um, started to not only make their own wise investments, but starting to make investments in other people. So the only thing you've got missing off of here is the knight. Literally, it's just the knight of pentacles. And to be honest with you, at this point where you've th thought for such a long time, this is never going to come about, it's never going to start up. Um, you don't want the knight of pentacles in there because that is slow movement. And I'm not getting slow movement. I'm getting that this is moving on really nice. But they are saying clarity and organisation. And that may be one of the things that you have lacked is the clarity and the organisation. That's why you kind of like missed the point with the moon trying to illuminate a way forward for you. Because where did you have that? You've got the moon in this card, you've got the moon in this card, and then you've got the moon over there. So there is definitely a strong message here. <laughs> a strong message here from the universe with the Holly King. Now, he's like the hermit. He's out seeking the answers to the question of life what's life all about all of that what's the human um experience about but he's also described as father time and when he turns up in your card no matter in, in your reading no matter where he is and this is what you can't do anything about if you don't bite the bullet and you don't see that, that this is time now to do this they're going to put it right in front of you they're going to make no mistake about it, no bones about it. It is happening because I'm getting that they're a little bit fed up with waiting for you as well. The spirit world, the universe, whatever you want to call it. They're kind of saying it's been ready. It's ready. It's time. It's time now. And that's what he's coming in to tell you. So reconnecting to your true self. In comes the moon. You may have some water within your chart, but you don't have to. Um... But in comes the moon, illuminating something for you. Something that you need to know about. Something that needs to be uncovered. Could be a truth or an untruth. Could be a distortion in the water. It could be somebody that is leaping up trying to give you information that's not right information. Do not rely on hearsay of others. Go and find out from the horse's mouth. If this is a business venture go to business people and ask them for that guidance do not try to do this for yourself the moon is saying illuminate for yourself don't look at these distortions and also the moon has this message when it comes in do not look at the things within shadow because it's the stuff that is illuminated that needs your attention right now the things that are in shadow will show themselves in good time it really will Your outcome, ten of a theme is. Nine of the theme is where you was feeling like it was never going to happen. Ten of a theme is you have put all your problems and your issues to rest. You have learnt lessons. You have put each and every one of those lessons in the ground as an a theme is, And you have produced a circle of protection around you. You are boiling a pot, boiling a new way forward. Keeping everything that might harm you at bay. It's a completion card. You are completed. You now know how to go forward and bring in a new beginning. 
cutting out all of the bullshit and the bollocks that people tend to download on us um, and clearing the way clearly for new beginnings. And what was I saying? The universe was getting fed up waiting for you. In comes the battle wagon cancer. So you could have cancer, you could have Pisces in your birth chart. This could be Cancerians and Pisces around you. They could be air signs around you, but it's a for the main part. The battle wagon, in it comes. What are you feeling triumphant about? Because the universe has got a clear message. You have not got your hands on those reins. One's hand, one hand is up in the clouds going, oh, look at me. The other's on the staff that you are holding in the other hand. And they're saying, now is the time for you to sit back and enjoy this journey. You've done the battle. You've done the worst part. Now is the enjoyment part. You've got no control over where those horses are going. Because if you had control, you'd have reins and you haven't. You haven't got reins. Let the horses take you where you need to be. And they don't have to be real horses. They can be proverbial horses, okay? So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Capricorn for the beginning, second, third week in September. I don't know, just a couple of weeks in September. I'm just going to put it up as a September reading. Got some cards for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Anything else for Capricorn? Thank you. Okay, lovely Capricorns, you've got a wise one. Grow within your current situation. Traveller, move in a new direction. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. Don't forget about your clarity and organisation. Then you've got the Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. Capricorn, I hope that was of some help to you. Wherever you are in the world, lovelies, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.